Good evening and welcome down to Eastleigh for Stevens Fun Fair. Now, Stevens Fun Fair actually has just been a little, well, probably as close to us down in Worthing as what it has been in Eastleigh, but we missed it on Worthing Seafront. It had a very slightly different ride lineup. Um, I think we had a, uh, a KMG Speed down there. Where here we have the Extreme. Now, we were here last year as well for it, and there used to be an orbiter sitting just behind us here. And then the coaster was over this side, but there's no orbiter this year. Instead, we have the X Power. X Power. Now, we did go on X Power a couple of times last year. We went on it actually at Pogna Regis in the seafront. Uh, it was there for the bank holiday fair. I'm guessing it won't be there this weekend um, because this fair is still on. So I'm guessing there'll be a different lineup in Bogner. And uh, we also went on down in Ringwood where it did drop quite a lot of oil over my jeans. And uh, yeah, I had to get a new pair of jeans. But it's actually quite a good ride. I actually quite enjoyed it. In addition, over here, we have the Waltzer over here. We have the Twister, which you can just see through there, with the Shrek coaster, and you have the Miami over there. Now, the uh, Twister, the PWS one, was brand new for last year and was a really, really nice ride, or Sizzler, whichever way you want to say it, was a really, really nice ride. So we definitely want to get back on that. The Waltzer last year, it's good. I mean, the guys work tirelessly on that. They really do work tirelessly on it. However, the flat bit of the front on those Waltzers, I said it before when we went to uh, Tamworth as well, and we went to Barker's Fair, the ones with the flat bits on the front, I just don't enjoy them as much. It's nothing against them, it's nothing against the, uh, the water as such, I just don't enjoy them as much. We're probably gonna give that a miss, but we may this time instead get you some footage of the Miami, the Energizer, which is the lap bar based one. So we're definitely looking to get on X Power, or Extreme, whichever one you wanna call it, it says both. Uh, we wanna get on the Miami, and we're probably gonna get on the Sizzler, Twister as well. Uh, we're gonna give the Walter a miss, but yeah, few rides. So it's advertised as £2 for all rides except the Dodgems. It's not strictly true because X-Power is also £2.50 like the Dodgems, but it's quite reasonably priced. We are going to get some rides done. We'll take you on board for some POVs and yeah, fingers crossed, we have a good time.
little bit of a wander through the fair. Here is the Shrek coaster, lovely little coaster. Got the scissor over here, PWS one. Energizer the Miami there. And then Dodgem's over there. Now that's kind of most of the big rides in fairness. There's just one more over here, which is the uh, Walter. I'm beginning to think I've actually seen Stephen somewhere else this year. I'm going to have a little ponder on it, I think, for the end. It's gorgeous looking Sizzler. Practically brand new, this one. I think it was new to the circuit last year. It's a gorgeous Sizzler. And then there's the Walter. So it's definitely a slightly older one, but it's been refurbished. Looks really good. Two stalls, two juvenile rides, a couple of bouncy castles. But yeah, looking good. find that lap bar ones are a little bit quicker than the over the shoulder restraint ones. And I didn't do this in the end last year. Oh, 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 it's got some movement. Oh, that's very pleasant actually. Oh, yeah. You can see when you see the bar, look. You get a little bit of air time as you go over, which is always nice. Ooh. You see as well, see the fair comes alive at night. We haven't done many night fairs, because obviously it's been summer. But as we approach the end of summer, look, it's starting to come to life, look. They've got some stunning lighting displays on these, absolutely stunning. Look at that wall stuff. Oh, here we go the other way. Oh, stroke warning, people, stroke warning. Oh, it's a bit quicker this way. Yeah, much quicker this side. Whee! Oh, it's proper out of seat moment now. Oh yeah, much, much quicker going to the right than it is going to the left. Oh, no beach way. I hope we go to the right. Oh yeah, here we go. Woo. Woo. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely much faster going this way than what it is the other way. This is a really good experience. Some lovely air time on this. Lovely air time. Look at the scissor go, look. Ah, oh, beautiful. Looks beautiful at night. So, cracking ride on the Twister first. Love that. That is pretty much brand new. It rides backwards and then rides forwards. It's got a lovely burst of power to it. Really, really enjoyed that. And then onto the Energizer as well. I missed the Energizer last year. That's the first time I've been on it. Um, lap bar ones tend to be a lot quicker, as I said, when we were on there. 
and you know to be fair it didn't disappoint going to the left not as quick and you tend to find that with a lot of miamis that going one way they're not as quick as what they are going the other way that one's exactly the same so going to the left not overly fast pleasant still a bit of air time but going to the right it, it zips around absolutely zips around and you're really out your seat as well um you know going to the going to the left i kind of didn't have to worry about my keys flying out of my pocket going to the right though i did and i had to start holding on to phones and various things as well um which means it's a good ride it means it's a good ride so that is a beautiful and it's beautiful looking beautiful looking miami beautiful looking sizzler so that's those two rides out of the way. As I said, I'm not going to do the waltz. So the ones with the flat bases, I don't enjoy them as much as I do the other ones. And we're on a little bit of a budget and we're also on a bit of a time constraint as well because it's already quite close to closing. As you can see, it's fairly dark. The lights are out and we want to take you on this. The Extreme, the X Power, the Extreme. That's the one we want to go on and that's where we're going to be heading. Probably for our final ride. I don't really have, I don't have the boys with me today. So no point in going on the Dodgems to be honest. Um, I'm just going to be bumping up other people. There's not that many people riding, to be fair. There's a few. And this jet-powered one, we went on Shrek last year, actually. There's, uh, I love the, love the foam. I love the uh, wheels. I love the way that thing really does power you around. Really, really shoves you out the station and around the rest of the track. What an amazing little coaster, that. It just sort of jet propels you, but really, yeah, amazing. But that's where we're heading next. Final ride will be on Extreme.
So there's a little bit of camera movement on there because um, I'm not sure how much of it I'll use because bless her, she was, she was not feeling well on that opposite. The uh, girl on the uh, black top and the black hair opposite, not feeling the best, I don't think, on there. And you know, that thing is, um, you know, we say it all the time, they're not like the freakouts, the KMG freakouts. However, you know, I really actually do appreciate them. You know, we went on one in Farnworth at the beginning of uh, the year, which I said was probably the most powerful one I've been on. But that's running a lot better than it was last year. A lot better than it was last year. It does rattle, it has a bit of a shake to it. Kind of be expected to be honest with you. But it's got some power. It's got some proper power and it really, really pushed me. Really pushed me quite hard. I really enjoyed it. You know, it had a bit of spin on it. We definitely got some air time. I don't remember really getting air time on one of those until I rode the one in Farnworth. Um, at the beginning of the year at Northern Fun Fairs. I don't remember air time on them because they don't go as high as what the KMG ones do. But I got air time. And uh, yeah, quite a lot of it at that. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. It, sh it shook a bit, but I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. And you know, that brings our riding, that brings our riding to a close. It is a short vlog today. We just wanted to come, take you on a few rides, just show you around Stephen's Fun Fair here in Eastleigh. And you know, they are, they are just about to close. We literally only had sort of an hour to do it. We're gonna have a very quick walk around as our final one and then leave you from there. And we'll summarize when we kind of get out of it. It's quite loud in here, we'll summarize when we get out. So we'll have a quick walk around, but stunning rides, some real stunning rides. So there is Stevens Fun Fair. Now, funnily enough, when I was sitting there, and I know we came to Stevens last year as well, I kind of remember seeing these rides up in London when we went for our uh, we went for our day trip looking for a, um, I can't remember what we were looking for now, and we stumbled across a fair, and I think it was Stevens. They just literally had uh, the Twister, they had the Waltzer, and they had the Dodgems, and of course they're quite recognisable rides because 
you can see the graphics here on the um, on the Walter is is very unique. It's just it's not something you see every day. It really isn't. And of course, the Sizzler is pretty much brand new, and the Dodgems look beautiful as well. Absolutely beautiful. So we have seen them this year, but we didn't get to ride. I think when we went up to it, it was 6.99 for a wristband for for free rides. It just didn't seem worth the value, to be honest with you. And of course, we came last year and we had a great time. They had the Orbiter last year. This year, they got the Extreme ride. Um, and yeah, it's a slightly different lineup. We've got on some different rides this time. But yeah, that's Stevens Fun Fair. They got the Extreme, um, the X Power this time round instead of the Orbiter. We saw that down in Ringwood, so it'd be interesting to see whether or not that makes its way down to Ringwood. But we also saw it in Bognor Regis last year in August as well, as we said at the beginning of the vlog. And I'm guessing it's not going to be there because this is on till Saturday and Bognor starts Friday. So it'd be interesting to see if Bognor have a different lineup. Hmm. We will be checking out Bognor Regis. We will be heading down there this weekend to check out what rides and attractions they've got. And of course, get on some rides, which is what we want to do. But from Stephen's Fun Fair here in Eastleigh, UK theme parks, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.